Hello everyone. I am the lightning cat. <laughs> I enjoy doing that. I enjoy it. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm mucking about in Minecraft. Yeah, I think I understand why after a lot of um, after a lot of uh, well, I don't know what to say, but after little thought <laughs> very little thought I think I understand why they made it to where you can't have infinity and mending on a bow. But at the same time that's not anyone's decision but mine to make for me. It's your decision to make for you. <clears throat> if you don't want to use it, don't use it. Um, my attempt at a solution is make different levels of infinity and if you're concerned about the um, the infinity using uh, and using the uh, the different arrow types, the poison or or whatever potioned arrows, make it to where you have to increase the infinity level so that you can use it like that. But at the same time, to balance it out, it takes some of your experience so that you have you can shoot so that you, you constantly have to go and get experience in order to use those arrow types. But if you're shooting just plain arrows, regardless of what other enchants are on the bow, that it doesn't take your experience. I think that would balance it out as far as uh, anyone's concern. Yeah, in Infinity 2, where it requires experience to fire a bow with uh, an, 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 a tipped arrow. I'm just going to call them tipped because there's far too many variations of them and I didn't remember the exact name that they were called or labeled under. And then Infinity 3 could use a little bit less experience. Balto, you are shedding. But my knowledge of what is still stands. It's not going to change just because I understand what possibility they're trying to avoid. It's not anyone's judgment call to say it's overpowered or underpowered. It's the game dev's responsibility to promote everyone's creative thinking and freedom of choice in every game, not, the, not just this one. If you don't agree with me, oh well, you can just uh, you you can just go away. If you don't agree with me, just go away. But as far as Minecraft is concerned, and the uh, the changes that are going around. It's not the game dev's responsibility to constrain the player. It's their job while making a game that is a product and a service to everyone's freedom and inalienable right to the pursuit of happiness because that is what gaming is. If you have a different view or opinion, well, okay, keep it to yourself. I really don't want to hear it. Gaming is a service and a product that serves everyone's pursuit of happiness. It's not an art. It's nothing else but a, a product and a service. So, with that in mind, game devs should be making games to promote everyone's creative thinking process, 
their free will, their agency, their pursuit of happiness, those things primarily. So, hey, you guys working on Minecraft, your responsibility, your job is to promote everyone's creative thinking process, not to constrain it. So this, uh, this mending infinity on the bow thing to where you can't have it, you need to remove that and place it back to where we can have whatever enchants we want on whatever items we want. Even if they don't function, it's not your choice to make. It is your responsibility to have the foresight to conceive of infinite possibilities in infinite combinations. Well, you can't really do infinite in games, but you can promote that free thinking and creative process. And no, this isn't about what I want. This is about what's best for everyone. And uh, in addition to that, um, we can still combine red and blue to make purple dye, but we can't combine blue and yellow to make green. Why is that? The uh, When you set up an automatic furnace for smelting, the experience just goes into oblivion once you have it on the uh, once you have the items on the uh, hopper that takes them out of the furnace work that experience needs to go to the player it needs to go into the chest so that when you open it you get that experience or it needs to stay in the furnace and build up so that when you go into it and there needs to be a little uh, thingy that notifies the player that the experience is in there, a little bar that glows when there's experience to be taken out when people are using an automatic furnace for smelting. Well, that's just one idea of a way you could do it. I had another idea where you could put another hopper and put um, glass bottles in it and then put it into a um, uh, a brewing stand with uh, with awkward potions and actually put the experience into those and make your own bottle of enchanting. That's another idea. Pick one or both. It'll be so much better for everyone involved. And um, revamp the die system so that we can combine the colors appropriately you know with yellow and blue to make green instead of just cactus or you know use lily pads or grass or uh, tr leaves off the trees there's a lot of things to use please pick one or more something that's easy to get to the leaves and the grass and the lily pads yeah, that seems about right. And combining the other colors together to make the ones we want. These are changes that need to be made in Minecraft. So, hey, Mojang, 4J, Microsoft, I'm saying it plainly. I'm right. I know I'm right. And... I'm sharing this information with you because I want you to put it in the game. Because it's better for everyone involved, not just me or you. Right now, as far as gaming holistically is concerned, after the after the government involvement in the uh, the whole loot box scandal, gaming is in a bad place and player trust is pretty much at its lowest point for console gaming this this has to change and I'm just sitting here watching everyone's short-sightedness and thinking why are you doing this 
that's incredibly short-sighted it's not gonna lead to anything viable as a long-term thing it's just it's just gonna mess up what's already happening so now I'm saying something about it for this one particular game hey let me prove that what I'm saying is right show everyone this video tell everyone that you're gonna do this so that it promotes everyone's inalienable right to the pursuit of happiness everyone's agency everyone's free will everyone's creative thinking process and you're gonna let them make the choice of whether or not they want to use it or not it's totally up to them just let them make the choice and for the people who come at you on the forums or anything and just they come off at the mouth and they're negative about it block them and ignore them for people who are saying personally I don't want to use it just positively uh, let's see what's the word communicate with them positively okay thanks for your feedback that's your choice you can choose whether or not you're gonna do it or not you don't have to talk to us about everything it, it's totally up to you go have fun that's what you tell them for the people who seem like they're on undecided like they're confused just tell them hey go have fun do what you want that's what gaming is about it's go it's about going and having fun literally that is what gaming is so I've said what I had to say and everyone who agrees with this don't just like don't just leave a comment sharing your ideas don't just subscribe yeah don't just go and, and support my channel on patreon go on to the, uh, the, the email for these gaming companies so let's start with for this video just go to like Mojang 4J Microsoft Send them a link to this video. Uh, tell them if you agree with everything in it or not. Preferably that you agree with it because this is what needs to be done for everyone. Give them some of your ideas as well. And remember, when you come up with this idea, if it's... Uh, if it's like a game option, it has to be toggleable on, off, or on a slider. But as far as game mechanics go, I'm going to say the game mechanics have to be there. And they have to be... They have to be something that you don't depend on for achievements and, and everything. The, it has to be balanced. Like, uh, I could go into examples, but I think I've gone on long enough. I think I've said enough already. And people need a lot of time to think about what I've said and how to apply it. So, uh, like I said, like, comment, share, subscribe, support the channel on Patreon send a, a link of this video to uh, 4J Mojang Microsoft let them know that you appreciate my contribution to making the game better and I'll see you next time bye